All right, so it's another beautiful day out here in Denver today, so I'm gonna have some extra fun. So a lot of you may not know this, but I'm actually a photographer. Not really professional, but I just do it for fun. I like to shoot a lot of cityscapes, do street photography, architecture, but also I like to do a lot of abstract stuff as well. I don't really have a goal of what I'm gonna shoot today, but I do wanna see if I can try and find nature in the city. So let's see if I can actually make that happen. Before heading out though, I wanna show you what's in my bag. So the first thing I usually carry around with me in the city is this 50 millimeter Nikkor lens. It's a prime. It's one of my favorites. It's the first thing that I bought. It really forces you to have to move your feet in order to frame your subject. The other one that I carry around is my 11 to 16 Tokina wide angle lens. I love this thing, especially if you want to try and get more intimate. It really allows you to gather the entire scene so you're able to tell a bigger story. Since my camera has a crop sensor, this is great because it in some ways acts as, well, I don't know the exact calculation, but it really does fit well in that kind of 35 millimeter range for street photography. And last but not least, I've got my Nikon D7100. I used to have a Nikon D3300, but this one came into my life and it's changed everything for me. It's still pretty lightweight and I'm able to travel with it easily as well, so it doesn't break my wrist. And of course I carried all my wonderful low pro bag. It's got the back hatch thing here, so I'm easily able to grab it and pull it out when I need to. All right, so that's all my gear. Let's go see what we can find. So obviously I'm doing this in the middle of the day and the light is really harsh right now, but I did walk the opposite side of the city and ended up coming to a better nature escape. Let's see what I find. There isn't anything that really beats a mildly warm day and a camera in your hand. Life just doesn't get any better than that. All right, so I'm a little sick of doing the nature stuff now, so let's just go back into the city. Sure, I'll find some interesting stuff there. It's a Saturday. I found this back here, and I'm gonna take a couple shots of it. Let's see what we get. Sometimes I lack inspiration, but you know, it happens to the best of us. So what I try and do is have a better perspective on what I'm actually shooting. I get something in my mind that helps me focus, like one certain subject. Kind of like today how I said I was gonna try and find some nature in the city. And truth be told, if I do run out of inspiration, sometimes I just go back to things I've already shot. Example, this building is one of my favorite things to shoot, especially when it's a cloudy day and you can see up here the reflections come off of the building. Ah, it's just magnificent. Take a look at this thing. If I play my exposure right, I might be able to get a cool picture out of it. Whenever walking around in the city, make sure to look up and look at the buildings and the way they are, especially if they're reflective, because you can get some really neat stuff. There's just another clear example of that. You can make it kind of look like it goes on forever. All right, so I've been using my wide angle lens, but now as we move deeper into the city, I think I'm gonna make sure to switch over to my 50 millimeter. So I'm starving, so I'm gonna stop and get some food real quick at Chipotle. Now I know Chipotle gets a lot of flack, but that burrito was freaking good. E. coli and all. Now that I've got extra food in my stomach, let's keep going and see what we can find. <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> well, I normally hit up the 16th Street Mall over here, but there's not much happening, so I might try and go venture off in some other areas as well. Oh, but here comes the fire truck. That's kind of exciting. I was gonna give another tip to always keep looking down, but I've been looking down and I found nothing. All right, let's keep moving. I got a couple more miles to go in order to meet up with Miko where she's gonna take me home. Otherwise, if I don't catch her, then that means that I'm gonna be walking home and I've already done enough of that today. 
So I found my way by the Brown Palace Hotel, and this place is pretty sweet to photograph. It's kind of like Colorado's Flatiron Building. So in order to get to Miko, we gotta go through a sketchier part of town. We gotta go through Colfax. So I found a reason to actually look down. Anytime you find a puddle, it could be possible magic, especially when you frame it with the regular road and not the reflection, it's good stuff. Colfax has actually cleaned up its act pretty well, but I would still consider it the dark underbelly of Denver. Oh man, I've been cursed out like four times without even doing anything down here. Well, I got myself off of Colfax, thank God. But I think I'm all pictured out. I've been shooting since about 10 a.m. this morning and I think it's around 2.30 now, so that's a solid couple of hours. I think it's time to find Miko. We're almost there, so I'll see you in a second. I'm tired after that. My feet are killing me. But I'll tell you what, it was definitely worth it. I feel like I got a lot of really good shots and I'm really looking forward to editing them all later. If you're interested in seeing any of the photos I took today, I'll be slowly posting them on my Instagram page. No, not my Curious GTV one. My other one that houses all my photography photos. You can find that one at Curious G underscore 12. But if you're interested in any of the gear that I have, I'll also be placing links to those in the description box below. Well, that's all I've got today. I'm poop still, and I'm gonna go take a nap. But I'll catch you guys on the flip side.